Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to do a really lame video. Um, well, I kind of think it's lame because I have a bit of an, like, an obsession with um, storage and like keeping things clean and yeah, I'm a bit, bit of a neat freak in that sense. Um, but I also like, if for anyone that knows me, like I've got a huge like stationary obsession and storage obsession. It's, it's so strange. Anyway, like I've recently got some boxes and things to help me with storing my camera equipment and I got really excited about it so I thought I would share with you guys what I'm starting to do to help store uh, quite a bit of my equipment and uh, this this is really good for people that have very small spaces that they work in I currently have a very small apartment so um, I don't have a lot of room to just kind of like leave my stuff anywhere and that's what I've kind of been doing but it's like just starting to get on my nerves at the moment like having just crap everywhere and my equipment just sort of splayed everywhere um i like to kind of have things sort of in a set place and just keeping it a little bit more organized so i'm going to show you guys what i've actually bought um this is probably not going to be a really interesting video but we'll see how we go um so the box that i've bought i bought from it's a place called howard storage world in australia and they are kind of going out of business at the moment so but I'm sure you can find them pretty much anywhere, like Kmart um, or Target would probably have similar stuff. Um, and I've also bought some inserts, but I'll show you guys what I mean in just a second. So this is the box that I've kind of bought, and it's got wheels on the bottom, so you can sort of wheel it along. Which is kind of good, because I've thought about taking it on some photo shoots with me if I need to, if I need quite a bit of equipment. So as you can see this corner over here is really really messy with a lot of my camera stuff this is what i'm trying to clear up at the moment so um this storage box is the first step okay so we just um to open it just sort of like unclip the lid and i've recently purchased obviously like i don't have a lot of my stuff in here yet but um i'm starting to build it up a lot of my stuff is still in the wardrobe <laughs> Um, and it's kind of everywhere, but I've just chucked a couple of things in here So I bought this insert as well from um, Howard storage world and like I said, you can probably get these from You know Ikea would probably be a good place to look for them as well um, And it's meant to be like a wardrobe insert But it works really well for any little things that you've got even like a couple of smaller lenses could definitely fit in there I've just chucked my memory cards in there at the moment, and I've got my my trigger for uh, my studio lights just in there at the moment as well so that's kind of what I'm looking at doing with that one maybe putting some smaller lenses in there and any other little knickknacks that that go along with my equipment maybe some cleaning cloths and that sort of thing so this is actually sitting on top of another insert which is just a straight straight line one so it's good for any lenses that you might have um, I originally thought I could put my lenses in here and just sort of have them standing up but I don't know if they're really that well supported um, but I mean that's definitely something you could look at I just thought it would be maybe a little bit better to have them lying down so I've got three lenses in there at the moment but like I said I haven't really gotten everything in there yet it's just kind of like testing out what I'm going to do and my camera's just to the side here um, so yeah that's kind of how I'm going to look at storing a lot of my stuff at the moment I've got another one of these big boxes just out in the other room and I'm going to look at probably putting a bit more stuff in there because at the moment, I will show you my messy wardrobe. At the moment, I'm not sure if you can see, but this is just all my clothing that I've got for photo shoots. But just down the bottom here is my um, mess of a uh, photography bag. And it's just got a lot of my older stuff in there and a lot of the boxes and things like that. So I'm going to go sorting through that and put it in that lovely little box here so the only thing now that i really have to figure out on how to store uh in this really small space is going to be my studio lights uh, a lot of the time i will have them kind of just set up anyway because i don't really take them down when they're in this room uh I, they just kind of stay up most of the time um but the boxes and and everything else that goes along with them um, i've got a couple of other lights that uh and stands that sort of just <laughs> sit in that corner over there so I'm going to look at maybe finding another storage solution for that but if anyone else has some storage tips on photography equipment and that sort of thing definitely feel free to put them in the comments section below um, 
especially it's, it's so much harder for people with small spaces as well and if you're still living at home um, I think it's sometimes it's worse because you really you have like maybe your bedroom where you can store it um, and that's kind of it <laughs> so any um, tips would be very much appreciated I'm sure from a lot of photographers out there anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video and I hope it was kind of a little bit more interesting than yeah what I thought it was gonna be at the beginning of the video but yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.